everyone. Hello. Hi. Hello. How's it going? It's so good to see you guys. Um, very excited to chat about this new season of Double Shot at Love. Um, so of course, Vinny, I'll have to start with you since this is pretty much all about you this time around. Um, you've, you've done this a couple of times. It obviously hasn't worked out for you. So what made you kind of feel like you were ready to come back and try it again? I mean, as long as I'm single, I'm ready to try it again as many times as possible. You know, like what's the, what's the worst that can happen? You know, you go there, it worked out for Paulie and Nikki and, um, you know, it may be a place where you end up meeting the person of your dreams or it may not be, you know? So it's just like, I have all these people around me trying to help me out. I'm going to accept it and go for a ride. I'm not going to shut it out. Um, sounds like a plan. I totally get it. And, and what were like kind of some of the qualities that you were looking for in a woman going in this time around? Well, that's kind of the cool part about this time. You can tell that a lot of these women did have those qualities that are specifically kind of match up with me. Um, the first time around, it was like a very eccentric uh, group of women. Me and Paulie both shared the experience. But this time, you know, a lot of uh, people that I got along with a lot, you know, that like to work out. They were, uh, I like someone that um, cooks, someone that is very goal oriented and driven. Um, and someone can like, just like hang with my entire lifestyle it was very important to me and I was pleasantly surprised of like all the uh you know I'm like I'm like intellectual but I'm also ratchet at the same time so I <laughs> kind of like look for someone like that and a lot of these women will like that and as long as they can jump rope then they're fine <laughs> they might not many people in, in the world can jump rope it's kind of a, a, a an odd talent um uh, but they're getting there <laughs> Holly and Nikki, what about for you guys? What, what were you kind of thinking would be like the ideal woman for Vinny since you guys know him so well? Well, you just said it. The way to his heart is through his jump rope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Maybe like, another um, kind of rope, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, relax. <laughs> th this time around, I was looking for something, um, something a little bit more for him. Somebody that could actually potentially go home to meet his mother. Somebody that um, is not just a one-night stand. Some, somebody with substance. I'm... As you get up there in age, I'm looking for, for this guy's soulmate. So I, we had a lot of responsibility. Yeah, I feel like with Vinny, like he's such a mama's boy. Um, so I think we were looking more for like girls that had attributes of like his mom or yeah. like not that he's dating his mom, but like girls mother that, type, yeah. you know, yeah, mother type um, that could take care of things and handle their own and have their own thing going on but at the same time can balance a relationship for him. Because this kid's yeah. mom still does his laundry. <laughs> I wish that, my mom still did my laundry. <laughs> that's that's tricky though, because if you get someone like my mom, you know, I might like someone who's the who's the opposite. Because like my mom is my mom. Like she's she does my laundry, she cooks. You know, maybe I want some a partner who's not like that. You know, who like who's just like uh, you can have who's just crazy. Have you see why he needed our help? He doesn't even know yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hard to I'm hard to pick for. Mm -hmm. Nikki, how did you kind of feel like you fit into the process? Because obviously, you know, Polly and Vinny are so close. You have known him for a few years now. Where did you kind of um, see your role as in the whole thing? Uh, sort of like the wing woman um, for Vinny. I feel like having done this experience before and being on the side with all the girls, you know, I kind of have a different understanding of the whole process. Um, but while it was tough or while it could be tough for any woman being in a house with 20 women or 17 women, I feel like being on the other side with Vinny and Polly, like they had it tough too. Like Vinny had to break up with a girl almost every week. And I don't think that's yeah. something that is ideal for any decent guy to like want to do to a woman. Um, so it was, it was just good to have my insight there to like rally back to the girls if they were feeling some type of way about like not having enough time with him or if like Vinny felt like he wasn't hearing um, much from one girl and he just didn't want to send her home because, you know, maybe she was just not herself in the environment. So, um, you know, it's kind of just going back and forth, like being the middleman, um, but it was cool. And she could give us all the gossip on the girls. And the yeah. Girls because we never yeah. got that. We never got yeah. that side of what was going on when we would leave the room so we didn't know what yeah. the girls were talking about who's fighting with who what's the real drama 
she could get yeah. that reported back to us. I felt bad majority of the mm-hmm. times because I felt like it's kind of like girl code. Like you don't really tell a guy, you know, what's going on when you're doing your nails and stuff. But, um, you know, I knew what my job was being there and I played my part. I tried to, you know, balance being there for the girls, but also being there for Benny. Yes. Yeah. It must have been hard to be the middleman a little bit, <laughs> but fun, of course, at the end of the day. Um, did you guys find it difficult at all to kind of weed out, you know, who maybe wasn't there for the right reasons or after doing this a few times, was like, have you kind of been able to tell now? I mean, it's pretty much like the first thing we look for now. Um, you know, especially in this day and age, obviously it's a TV show. Um, so I kind of like get excited about that a little bit. Like when you actually find like a real one in in this kind of crazy environment it's kind of like oh wow like it it makes them shine even more you know so it's it's not necessarily a bad thing that we're doing it in this environment yeah it's a good point I, i totally get that um and okay obviously i know you know can't spoil how this ends or whatever but how do you feel looking back on the process doing this again um how do you feel at the end of it and what are you excited for people to see Um, no, it's just, uh, no, it, it was hard for me. And if it was hard for me, usually it's very entertaining. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it was just, it was like, it was like everyone's face, like the pressure. And as you get, oh, hello. Yeah, it's breaking up a little bit. Am I good? <laughs> hello? Oh, there you go. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. I was just saying like, you know, the, the pressure keeps building and building as you go more into the season, obviously it just gets harder and harder. Um, it got harder and harder for me. And I think that it's just a unique twist. This is the first dating show where you have, you know, this couple that's there with me, helping me out. And you have like a woman's point of view. It's never really been done before. So I would tune in just for that. Yes, we will definitely be tuning in. Thank you guys so much for taking the time here today. I'm so excited for everyone to check it out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.